we look on the internet, people are doing videos about Smash Bros characters they want, and while I may agree with some of these people today, I want to take a look at five characters it seems a lot of people are asking for in Smash Bros on the Switch that I simply don't want on the game. Now that doesn't mean that I hate these characters, but it means if Nintendo's only going to give us, say like 10 characters, these characters that people are asking for, I'm down with putting them back there in like the top 30 or so. So today, let's look at five Smash Bros characters everyone's asking for that I really don't care to have in the game. character goes to a guy who looks beautiful in purple and he does evil right. We're talking about Waluigi. Waluigi first appeared in Mario Tennis in the year 2000. I love this guy. He is weird, lanky, and has a remarkable laugh and reminds me of a serpent for some reason. Waluigi is also voiced by the wonderful and talented Charles Martinet, and this interpretation of a Mario type character is actually one of my favorites that Charles Martinet does. Too bad, Waluigi time. <laughs> Here's my issue with Waluigi in Smash. I feel like he would play too much like Luigi. Luigi already plays wiggly and squirmy. And although I really like Waluigi and who he is as a character, I don't really want another excuse to basically get another palette swap with a few new moves. Even with how much I love Waluigi, if we're gonna get new characters from the Mario universe, I would like somebody completely different that can play completely different than anybody in the Mario universe universe, say like Wart from Super Mario Bros. 2, or someone I've been asking for since the Nintendo 64 days of Smash, Malo and Gino. In 2008, we got Super Smash Bros. Brawl on the Wii, and we got a character I wasn't expecting, Snake from Metal Gear. Snake, you know who that is? You're kidding, right? It's Mario. When Brawl came to the Wii, the game was met with a mixed reception from Smash Bros fans, but I personally really like the game. A character that got a lot of attention was Snake. Snake comes from Konami's Metal Gear universe and is one of the baddest dudes out there. He does not fit the usual mold of most Nintendo characters that are all cute and warm and fuzzy and happy. Another thing is my brother was always really good with Snake. He would always kick my butt with ease and kind of make me feel like a loser anytime I played the game when he was playing a Snake. As of late, I have been lurking on some Smash Bros boards and websites and I've been seeing a lot of people ask to get Snake back, but I have one problem. I'm absolutely beyond horrible playing with Snake. I can't win a single match with the guy. In fact, I don't think I've ever won a match when I've played as him. I normally play a lot better with loose and flat floaty characters, and I know I am blaming this choice on the fact that I suck with a character like Snake, but for me, personally, even with how cool he is, I will never use him if he comes to the game on Switch. So Nintendo, if it were up to me, I'd have to skip him. I'd skip Snake. Sorry. <laughs> on June 16th, 2017, the Nintendo Switch saw a new game, a unique game, and a fun game come to the console. ARMS. ARMS had a lot of people chatting in the early days of the Switch. We were getting a new fighter game that really changed things up from the normality that is fighting games. It's interesting because all the characters somehow have this weird, cute charm appeal to them, but they're really freaking tough at the same time. ARMS kind of reminds me of like a Power Stone type of game, but where each character in the game is one of Dalsum's long lost cousins. The reason I do not want ARMS characters in Smash is because I never really like playing with characters that are stretchy in any game. Even if I have control of any extended limb, I still feel like I always lose control of my character as soon as I extend my character out. Now I know in ARMS your character's reach has much more control than again, let's say a Dalsum style character, but but still, once I extend any limb out, I feel like I lose control of where my target is. I can't seem to aim properly. So ARMS characters in Switch, ah, maybe not for me. Wow! I'm gonna say it, the best character, my favorite character in Donkey Kong Country 2, Dixie Kong. Dixie is quick and agile. She can dodge enemies with ease. She is cute as all heck. And she can glide precisely over each platform that comes her way. 
And although I do enjoy her gliding so much and it is my favorite characteristic about her in the game, I feel like that's really the only thing that separates her from playing as a character just like Diddy. And we already have Diddy. If we get somebody from the Donkey Kong Country universe, make it Funky Kong or King K. Rule, Dixie will feel again just like another palette swap, which I really don't want. I want brand new characters with brand new skill sets and brand new abilities that play completely different. Different. Given how much I like Dixie, I would love to see her in the game, but maybe as like a costume selection when you pick Diddy, being able to rotate from the way your characters look, or an even better way is have them play together cooperatively, kind of like the Ice Climbers. Speaking of Ice Climbers, they're a character I'd want back too. I could die happy. <laughs> And my last choice is a choice when I told my son this morning that I was doing this video. He got mad at me. The last character I don't want here in Smash Bros. on the Switch is Captain Toad. But trust me, I do love Toad. My love for this character all started back in the day with Super Mario Bros. 2, one of my favorite games of all time. This little cute guy was always somewhat of a mystery to me. What exactly is he? Is he a radish? Is he an actual toad? Is he wearing a hat? Why doesn't he have a nose? Is he a boy? And even though I love the character so much and who he is, the reason I love him is because he has been always the best helper out there in Mario games. He is always there to give us power-ups when we need it. He is there in Mario Odyssey to help find our moons and our different things in the game. But with that, I want to keep him there. I want to keep him as a character, as maybe even a sidekick to Mario that throws him different power-ups throughout the stage when he's fighting in the game because he has always been so helpful in the best possible way. I, I know you can handle it, Toad. I know we've seen you in Treasure Tracker. You can handle your own, but I want to see you stick by our side and help us win matches. Hey, Papa! Did anyone ever tell you you were ugly? That's it from us here at Superhero Game Squad. Let me know down in the comments below what character do you not really care to have in Smash Bros that everyone else seems to want in the game. Also, make sure and subscribe. We are here four to five days a week and we live stream one to two days a week as well. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye.